Well, I've been threatening to do it and today I'm going to do it. I'm going to dye my eyebrows silver or as silver as I can get them. We're going to give it a shot. I have dyed my eyebrows for most of my adult life. I dyed them red. Whenever I dye my roots, I dye my eyebrows. After I went silver, I felt that they still needed tinting because I didn't have enough definition. So I have been tinting them using a light ash brown. And they told me at the beauty supply to use a 20 volume with that. Well, I feel like it just pulls a little red. Even though this is an ash brown, I feel like my eyebrows have been looking redder than I want them to be. When I was at the Beauty Connection the other day and I spoke to Manny, we talked about it. He felt that my eyebrows were pulling a bit red because of the 20 volume. Figures, you know, you get advice from one person, they tell you one thing, then you go back and you talk to another person, they tell you something different. And how are you supposed to know? It's like, ah. So he thought I should just stick with doing the light ash brown with the 10, switching to a 10 volume peroxide. But you know me, once I get some idea in my head, I am not gonna let it go until we do it. Really, you got a scratch now, sequel? Seriously? What he suggested is a toner. This is Wella T14. It says a pale ash blonde, even though I was very specific about I wanted silver. Uh, but this is no lift, and I'm going to be using it with a 10 volume peroxide. So I'm not too, too worried because this is deposit only. We are not going to be seeing a massive, huge change. We should hopefully see a very subtle enhancement that if this all goes well, Ideally, my eyebrows will end up being like the darker part in my hair, more of the pewter. I certainly don't want them to be this white color. I still want definition, but let's get to it, shall we? First thing when you dye your eyebrows, your hair, anything, get something on to protect your skin from absorbing that color. You can use plain old Vaseline. Done it for years. I picked up Repel. This is designed specifically for this, and it's just nice for eyebrows because it's just, you swoop it on. So we have our Repel on. I mixed the color together, two parts of the 10 volume peroxide to one part of the T14 color. Mixed that up. It is a completely dull, boring gray color. Yay! Now let's get this on. I am going to hold my mirror so that you can actually see me as I do this and that I can see me as I do this. I think that works out best all around. Unless the mirror falls off my lap. Weird trying to color your eyebrows in the middle of your living room, but there you have it. I know you're sure wishing you'd see me with makeup again sometime. You will. Lately, I'm testing out all of these moisturizers, which is pretty awesome. I'm gonna be having some great reviews for you soon. It's hard to see my eyebrows. So barely there. I do this way more gracefully when I'm doing it, you know, alone in the bathroom in front of the mirror and there's no camera and I'm not doing it with a mirror on my lap. It's a whole different experience this way. So generally, I just glob on the color and then uh, shape it with Q-tips. Lots of cleanup on the left eye. We'll go to the big side of the mirror. Yeah, that's scary. Detail work there. Oh, 
I will tell you, this is so light. We don't have to worry about it being um, too extreme. It says on the box that I should process this for half an hour. So um, I'm gonna kick back, read some email, look at some magazines, play with the kitty cats. I'll see you in half an hour. Been processing now for half an hour. You can see the color darkened up. So uh, let's wipe it off first, then I'll run in and, and do a little wash and I'll come back and show you the results here in a moment. Oh yeah, that looks pretty, huh? Well, it certainly didn't make them too dark. Okay, I'll go wash. I'll be right back. Okay, washed and moisturized. Let's give this a good close look. It's definitely not as red as I was getting with the light ash brown. I definitely don't have that redness to it. But it's just a pale blonde. It's pretty much my natural color. It's not a real big difference. It coordinates with the hair much better, but I like a little more definition. So I'm going to say today's experiment in using silver hair dye, the Wella, T gosh, what was it? T14? I've forgotten already. See, I put it away. Let me go look. So for today's experiment, using the Wella T14 toner with a 10 volume peroxide to achieve a pewter color on my eyebrows, big fail, didn't work. I suppose maybe if your eyebrows were completely white, this might be an option, but I want a little more bang for my buck than this gave me. So that's my two cents. Uh, I'm not gonna dye them back. I mean, they're fine. I, I don't see any reason to dye them in a hurry, but, ooh. Okay, next time we're gonna go with, we're gonna mix some of this with the brown and see what happens. Why? Because I'm like that. I like to experiment. I like to play. And yes, lots of people have told me that um, Just For Men and Grecian Formula works great on eyebrows. And one of these days, I will try that. I'm just, it's the same method that I've done for 30 years. It's just different shades, so I'm working with what I know. And eventually, I'll expand out of that. But uh, there you have it. Silver eyebrows. Fail. Hope you're enjoying these videos. Tomorrow, hopefully we'll have a win, but that's today. You have a fabulous day. Love you bunches. Talk to you soon. Oh, did I say please subscribe? Because yeah, could you subscribe? Because I'd like that. It helps me. And you know what? I like those thumbs up too. Those are nice. Even though this was a thumbs down. Give me a thumbs up. Yeah, whatever. Five o'clock somewhere, and you know what? It's actually five o'clock here. Time for a glass of wine.